Okay, so let's get into Paint 3D. Uh, this is our canvas. We could click this guy here. See how when we hover over that it says canvas. And we could change the size of the uh, canvas. Just click here, type in a number. This is where it locks the ratio so it doesn't get uh, squished in one way or the other. We could also just drag it with these little squares. If we wanted to, we could work in pixel size here. Lots of times if you're making a picture for the web, it gives you a pixel size. Okay. Uh, you can turn off the canvas. Right now this won't make no sense, but here I'll, here I'll show you. You can see now the canvas is off. So, let's see here. We have our paintbrush. We can select the type of brush. Brush. We can uh, select the color down here. And then we can draw on here. This one here, we could select uh, 3D shapes. Click this guy. Then we get these shapes here. We have a cube. See now, as soon as we drew that cube, now we get the uh, we get a cube here, and we can rotate it. This is the part that's confusing people, and we'll we'll get we'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, we're just going over some basic things now select you can make another shape here see how it kind of wobbles there just a little bit to show you that it's a 3d shape so this one moves it back and forth up and down this one moves it back and forth like that This one's not doing nothing for for this guy here, see? If we click on that one, it kind of rotates it here. Okay, let's select all. And then we can cut or delete. It's not letting us delete this guy here let's see here here's our eraser here's our eraser okay so there's all types of shapes that 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 you can draw with here. Up and down, back and forth, round, front and back. And then that puts him behind the canvas. See there, he's halfway through the canvas. Now he's just in front of the canvas. Here's our basic shapes, just like we had in in uh, paint. Okay, so let's create another shape. We created a shape. We can change the thickness of the outline. 
you can change the opacity you can change the color I can just click and drag over him to select them see and he's not a 3d object I have them selected so I can move them around a little bit but here I can click make 3d okay so now he's made a 3d object and we, and we get these other guys here Okay, so uh, let's see here. Let's create another object. This is just a standard 2D object, just like we would create in paint. We can change the thickness of the outside line. We can change the opacity. We can change the color. And then when we're done creating the item the way we want it, we can click Make 3D. And then once we do that, then we get these other controls where we can move them back and forth. We can rotate them. We can swivel it. We can move them front to back. See how it kind of throws you into another view? So you can, it's, it's, it's trying to help you see what you're actually doing. See, now he's like halfway through the canvas. Now he's behind the canvas. Okay. Let's create some text. We can create we can create regular text. We can create 3D text. Uh, once we have that created, we can change the change the font, change the size. odd is it won't let me just type in a number if I wanted to make it bigger uh, we can change the color we can center it we can italicize it okay now once we click off that I don't think we can go back to the text properties. Let's see here. Okay. But once we click off of it, then we have these guys. And we can rotate the text. See how there's a thickness to the text? If I want to, I can grab these little squares and make the text thicker. Okay, so something I wanted to show you. Okay, so let's create a 3D object. We'll create a cube. And then we'll click off of them. 
Okay, so once we have our 3D object, we can click on this guy and come over to this. Click on one of these textures. Okay, I think you can see what I'm doing here. And then let's say we created a 3D object and then we can go to canvas and turn off the canvas and that's where that would come into play when we don't really need to see it. You know, all we really need to see is our 3D object that we created. Okay, so then we save it. Save as a 3D paint. We have to name it. Say we just want it as a 2D image so we can use it somewhere. Let's say put it in my 3D folder. So it will be named Cube. And then we have this guy here. We can edit. We have a regular picture that looks like a 3D object, but we opened it in paint. Okay, see ya.